We all recognize it at first sight, straight from the heart of our island flag, the Great Seal of Guam. But if you think the view from the mouth of the Aganya River is the inspiration for the classic scene depicted on the seal, you're only partly right. According to lore, the real inspiration was a spot off Navy Yard reservations, where the Aganya River then spilled into the Philippine Sea. It's also where an early 20th century typhoon had left only a defiant coconut tree standing. The Aganya River was diverted during the post-war reconstruction of Agatya and still flows into Aganya Bay today. A plaque near the delta reminds visitors that this site is a mere restoration of the original vista that inspired one of Guam's most enduring symbols. Here we are at the Paseo, where the Aganya River meets the Pacific, at this recreation of the setting on the Guam flag and the Great Seal. Despite some wear and tear, this setting bears some remarkable similarities to the original. Now, several bent coconut trunks stand for the determination of the Chamorro people. The winding river still snakes out to sea, and although it's faint on the horizon, you can still make out Two Lovers Point from the beach, although Hospital Point is a more visible substitute. Not far down the shore, a fleet of proas lies in wait. All in all, a commendable monument, a living, breathing legacy of Guam's patriotic emblem.